Hi. Hi. Tristan, I need you to tell Barry that I can't go to Paris. Okay. But after your exit, I'm not sure it's still on offer. It's not why you came here. You could have called him. Would you just tell him? Look, Isabel, Harvard's not the one for you. You marry him, you give up a dream that's so close you can breathe it. It won't last ten months. Um, what is this Tristan Shepard's love tester? I mean, do you want to bottle it? Make a million? <laughs> Come to Paris with me. Stand at the top of the Eiffel Tower, point to where we can live. I love who I am with you, Isabel. I love you. Don't! Tristan, just stay away from me. Then why'd you come here? To wave me up against Harvard? First time you really had to plan, huh? Make sure you're getting the best of the crop. Great deal. I bet my value went up since I got the Paris gig, huh? How are the cards falling now? Isabel, wait! We don't talk about that, okay? Anyways, it makes me so frustrated. Like, he hasn't told me he loves me in a long time. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm talking to myself. I don't know why you put up with that. And we still have sex, and we shower together sometimes. But after that, it's like nothing. The other day, I asked him to take me shopping. He told me to go with my sister. This is so exciting. <laughs> I told Tony that if you ever fuck me over, I'm gonna rip off your balls and feed it to your ugly dog. Is that a dog? Oh, he's sensitive. It's nice to have a sensitive guy too, you know? I love dogs. Me too. So cute. I'm Mary. Nice to meet you. Who is this girl? Who are you? <laughs> I'm here to date The Bachelor. Ooh, oh, cat pigeons cat among. Pigeons. We are joined now by uh, Mary. Uh, Mary, Hi. good morning to you. Good morning. You're in a mystery location. I am. You can't tell us where you are. But... I went into like a zombie trance and I was just pretty much grabbing, I grabbed everything off the shelf. From bread sticks to berry floss to like to walnuts. I had like literally everything that was on the shelves and I just thought you're just gonna wing this when you get upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, what the dickens is that? Maybe I can serve mine next to yours so it looks better. I knew it wasn't a masterpiece. It definitely wasn't Michelangelo's David. <laughs> we'll see what he thinks. <laughs> Mary's cake was hilarious. Um, I don't know what she was thinking, but it made me like Mary even more. What is that? <laughs> they have tea leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs edible it parts to rose bushes. <laughs> okay, why? I really like Mary's cake. She spent a lot of time decorating. <laughs> so let's give this a try. <laughs> Taste-wise, different story. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, I'm allowing my palate to adjust. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, it was horrible. It tasted like foot. <laughs> she gave it a go. And I love the fact that she personalised it to me. Definitely 10 for creativity. 